6th of September 2023. This news flash I'm going to talk about the fuel price hike and the Sasa problems. Now, for a long time, we've watched how the ANC, yes, the ANC, were robbing and pillaging and fraudulently, fraudulently taking money out of the state coffers. Millions and millions and millions and millions. And all the while this was going on between Cyril and Malema, they promoting racism, hatred, genocide toward the whites, and Malema says kill the bull, kill the farmer, and they want the land and all of that. All of those things are being done to keep the people busy. Keep the people busy fighting with one another and spreading hatred while this elite is stealing like there's no end to it. And I did a skip mark earlier. The state is running out of money. The thing that must make you, the citizen, extremely angry is that they steal the cash out of the government purse and then they make loans to cover their overheads. The fact of the matter is that cash that they stole already came from your pocket. Now they make a loan to cover the shortfall and us, the citizens, will have to pay for those loans. Look at this price increase of petrol. Fuel price effective 6 of September 2023. Petrol 171 per litre up. Diesel 2 rand 84 up. Now just take this into consideration. When they raise the diesel price, everything that we consume will get more expensive because diesel is the primary fuel when the farmers work their land. Diesel is the primary fuel when the products are being transported. Diesel is the primary fuel to try and keep businesses going under load shedding. So take note that diesel price increase is going to eat all of us again. Once at the fuel pump when you put diesel in, but then every time you buy food, you will pay. And then here comes a tragic one. Illuminating paraffin, 2 rand 78 per litre up. Now for a large portion of the Poor people, paraffin is their primary source for heat. And look at where they're pushing that price. Now what you must ask yourself is this. They advertise every night on the TV the Brent crude price. Okay. And it is 85. Now it's cruising to $90 a, bat, a barrel. And then they justify the increase in the fuel price on that. Where the reality is, they buy oil and fuel products from Russia at roughly half the price of the Brent price. It's no secret that Russia is supplying friendly nations the discounted oil and gas. Pakistan bought from Russia the cheaper fuel and oil to bring the fuel cost down to their nation. But not in South Africa. No, 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 no. Yeah, this ANC. That price increase on the fuel is just a good place where they can steal more money from us. Eskom is not even allowed to buy directly from Russia. You must buy from some ANC carder operation. How stupid are 
the citizens of South Africa. You will clap hands and dance when Malema says kill the boer, kill the farmer. By definition, killing your food source. But where are you when they jack the price of fuel up like this? Where is Malema? Why is he not singing a song about that? Why are you not chanting fuel must fall? No, 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 no. That is not politically correct. So you would rather pay that expensive price for fuel and pay that expensive price for more expensive food than to call these politicians out for the shit that they are bringing into your lives. It is time that you wake up and begin to understand that politicians will always use you like cannon fodder and you will sing the songs that they tell you to sing. But you don't sing songs about their stealing. Stealing your life. Stealing your future. Stealing the future of your children. Bankrupting the state. Destroying the Department of Education. Destroying the security services. All of that. But no, you will chant, kill the boon, kill the farmer. In the meantime, you cannot afford to buy food. You cannot afford to buy paraffin. But that is the problem. You are allowing the politicians to get away with this. And they are now safe and sound in their ivory castles. No load shedding for them. They don't care about the price of fuel because they put it in with a card for which you will pay. They don't care about the price of food, expensive or not. You will pay for it when they buy it because they've got a thousand and one loopholes in the system where apart from their obscene salaries, they've got basically unlimited fringe benefits. All of the politicians. But you will sing, kill the boor, kill the farmer. And you will not think that the politicians are actually busy killing you. And then we get this. Notice to Sasa Grant beneficiaries. Postbank is experiencing technical challenges affecting Sasa's social grant payments. Now, how true that technical problems is, is open for debate. But one reality is, we know they're out of money. They've plundered the pension funds and now they can't pay. And they want to blame it on technical problems. The technical problem is they're out of money. But still, you will sing, kill the boor, kill the farmer. You're not singing. The ANC must fall. You are the majority. You voted the ANC into power. And they keep you busy with racism shit while they are stealing everything they can lay their hands on. Time for you to wake up. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support.